Congratulations on just such a gutsy performance. Five days notice to step in and do that is just an incredible thing. Talk to me about how you're feeling right now. I honestly feel, you know, I got a little tired there um, in the fifth. And I really think the problem, Mike, was that I was in striking shape. I was in really good cardio shape for the uh, triathlon, but uh, I hadn't grappled. I'll be honest, now I can be completely um, upfront with you guys. I have not stepped foot in an M MMA gym in almost four months. Um, so that was completely based on pure, pure endurance training and some pad work. And then coming here and cutting over 22 pounds in four days. Um, Thursday night was probably one of the darkest nights of my life cutting that weight, but uh, I said I was gonna be the first one on that scale. I was the first one on that scale. I said I was gonna go and give hell to a former world champion and go five rounds if I had to, and we just had a five round battle. And I can tell you guys with certainty, I'm not going anywhere right now. Well, you looked absolutely sensational. Your striking was as fast as I've ever seen it, and you yeah. looked so determined. Of course, the fight is over now. Looking back, w w was there any regrets? I'm assuming you're going to say no, but if you were offered this opportunity again, what would you say? I'd say 100%, man. I <laughs> talked all week, right, Mike? We talked about it in the fighter interviews that you're only given these, these opportunities to shine and make a statement. And I said over and over and over and over again that this wasn't necessarily just about wins and losses. I know how talented Rafael Dos Anjos is. I know what I was in for. And this is exactly what I wanted. And to get a split decision over this guy, and hopefully, you know, I think we might've got fight of the night here. So I just hope the UFC is, is proud of me and happy. And uh, I hope everybody back home, I love all you guys. This was for my dad. This was for my family. This was for you guys, you know, I, I lost my passion uh, for this sport pretty bad and to all my uh, Philly friends and family and teammates back home I love you guys I miss you guys I can tell you I'm not done I might lose my ranking a little bit but what I've learned in this sport is none of that matters what matters is going out there showing up showing who you are inside what determination you have and for the guys that miss weight and couldn't make it here tonight get your stuff together hire a nutritionist get on the scale make weight and go perform I was dying on Thursday night to get on that scale at 156 pounds and I did it and I showed up tonight for 20 five minutes with no training just training for a triathlon so get your stuff together get your together and let's go well thank you paul felder for saying that in a way far more eloquent way than i ever could <laughs> listen you're always more eloquent than <laughs> me, <laughs> come on don't lie to me listen you gotta dare to be great to be great let me tell you sir you went out there tonight you were great you made the ufc proud your father everyone back home in philly and guess what everybody all over the world saw what you did tonight and they are truly inspired Thank you very much. No, thank you guys. I loved every second of it.